Happy New Year! Today, if you're ready and you're finished with your Indie Maverick drawing, what you're gonna do is a neurographic, some neurographic art. Remember that? Um, just a reminder, I'm gonna do a quick, quick review on how to do these because we've done them before, so you already know how, but you may have forgotten a few details. So remember, we start out with a blank piece of paper and we're gonna write down something that is concerning us and that can be kind of a big thing uh, as we begin the new year because a lot of people set goals for themselves and that can be a little scary sometimes so you know like maybe you've set a fitness goal for yourself or maybe you've decided I'm always going to do my homework on time every time or I'm going to really really study for the next nine weeks tests or you know it could be anything this is a time where we set goals for ourselves, and like I said, that could be a little intimidating, and that can make you worry a little. So, like, let's say maybe you've said, um, I am not going to use swear words anymore. No cursing. And I'm worried that, like, eh, that might be a little difficult. So, I could write, you know, I'm... Now, of course, this is not really a concern of mine because I never ever say bad words. I just never do. I'm worried that I will say curse words. Okay, so that's my concern. Maybe you have a more serious concern. Uh, you write whatever your concern is back here. And remember, the next step is to turn it over and to take a Sharpie and do your swirls. Now I've done that to save us some time. And remember, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look for wherever there is a pointy corner and we're gonna smooth it out. Okay, so here's one, and I'm just going to keep on looking. Now, again, I'm going to try to save us time. I'm not going to do this whole thing right now in front of you. I've kind of pre-done this. And what I want to show you is one that has some mistakes. So here's one that has mistakes. Do you see what those mistakes are? Well, first of all, this person instead of curving in towards the corner, curved out, right? And that is not what we wanna do. They went out, 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 out. We wanna curve in. If you accidentally do this, remember you can fix this by tracing over the line and just kind of making an inward curve over. Now, that's pretty messy, isn't it still? And you can see some other messy spots, you know, that's it's not smooth. When that happens, just go over it and follow along the line and smooth that out. Remember that with uh, neurographic art, the name of the game is smooth lines, right? So we can always fix these by just kind of going over them and take your time we're not in a rush. We're still waiting for our friends to finish their assignment. Now, one thing that you may not have liked was the burnishing technique. A lot of people were like, oh, miss, my hands are killing me. So here's a finished one. I've curved out all my sections. Um, we're not going to do the burnishing technique. Remember, that's where we took the uh, colored pencils and I would color in in one direction and then I'd color in in another direction until I had nice vibrant colors. And that's beautiful. But this time we're going to try something different. We're going to wa use watercolor pencils. Now, remember, um, this is just my original squiggle. You can add lines if you like just to kind of break up big spaces, but just remember to curve those lines out and you'll do great. Curve it out, make sure your lines are smooth. I've got some bumps here, so I want to 
brace over the line. Okay, so this is, I think I've got all my uh, sharp points covered here. And what I can do now is take a watercolor pencil. These are so cool, I love them. And we're just gonna kind of put down some color by outlining the shapes. I'll want some of this magenta here. I'll maybe want some here. And I'm just gonna do an outline and leave the middle white. This is gonna take less time than what we did before too. So you might like that. Maybe I'll do a little, I'll do this big section. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You see that I've got a lot of white left. It's a little scratchy look and it isn't looking like I would normally want something to look that I'm coloring in. Oopsie, but you'll find out why shortly. Um, I think let me do some orange. Maybe I'll do that here to kind of cover up where I got outside the line. And I'll do this orange. I'm kind of rushing because I don't want to take up too much time. And the main thing is I want to make sure I'm getting the outside part of that shape. And I'm going to do a little green. And then I'm just going to do this one last little space. Just so you can see how this works. I love this. I just love watercolor pencils. So now I'm going to take just a little bit of water. Remember, I don't want a whole lot of extra dripping, so I'm just going to put water on my brush, scrape it on the side, and watch what happens. I'm going to wet the color. and pull it into the center. And it turns that pencil mark into watercolors. Isn't that beautiful? I would recommend putting down all your colors before you begin with the painting part and doing one color at a time just to kind of prevent your colors from mixing up too much. Remember too, when you're switching colors, that you are going to, ooh, I love it. You're gonna swish, 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 take a sponge and do two X's, then get some clean water, scrape off the side, and you can begin on your next color. Have fun doing this. This one shouldn't take nearly as long as the last one we did. And this might end up being something that you put in your portfolio and just work on when you have extra time. This is not a project that we're going to be making sure we get completely finished before moving on because we have other work to do. This is going to be kind of a, a something we can work on when we uh, are finished with other things. I'm so glad we're all back together and enjoy working on this.